Hey guys, in this video, I get kicked out of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Ohio. I'm not kidding you. Security guards kicked me out. There's footage of it. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. So, just be safe. I'm going to have to ask you to stop. But let's backtrack for a second. This is how it happened. Okay, guys. Okay guys, I'm at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Normally I don't wear sunglasses in my videos, but I figure I'm a rock star now, so. I memorized every single member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I memorized the year they were inducted, uh, their names, one of their key songs, and who inducted them. And it, it was over 800 pieces of information and I memorized it in sequence. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that. So if you know me and if you've been following my videos, you know I really rely on the Mind Palace. And the Mind Palace is where I set up my house, I memorize pieces of furniture in my house, and then I place whatever I want to remember on those pieces of furniture. I really did a couple things here. Number one, I created a new Mind Palace. And I did this by walking around the city of Fort Worth, taking pictures of different landmarks. Number two, I put those photographs inside a PowerPoint and I memorized the order of that PowerPoint. Number three, here's the PowerPoint. I then took each one of the PowerPoint pictures and I put the artist and their year below it. For example, 1987, Marvin Gaye. What's going on? He was inducted by Keith Ashford and Melanie Simpson. I took that data that I wanted to remember and I put it on top of this picture. The next person inducted was Muddy Waters. I'm your hoochie hoochie man, Paul Butterfield. So I put that on that picture right there. I just put them in sequence, and then when I want to remember the data, I just take a mental walk around my mind palace. So let's go in here and let's check this out, and let's see if they are in the order that they are in this book. In essence, what I did is I memorized a map of a town, and then when I wanted to recall the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I went to that chair, and I imagined what I imagined Elvis Presley on that chair, and on the next chair I imagined Chuck Berry, and on the next picture I imagined uh, James Brown, and then when I wanted to memorize, re recall that data, I just went back to the chair, went back to that chair, went back to that painting. You can memorize anything you want. With the Mind Palace. I've memorized almost a thousand pieces of information for this demonstration. The second strategy that I employed is uh, I got my uh, camera guy, the guy who helps me with all these videos, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb. I asked Caleb to go on YouTube and get a 15 second clip of all the songs. He put them together in an hour long clip. So I listened to all the songs of all these famous musicians in the order I needed to memorize them. And I would drive around. Uh, I would drive around the country. I actually drove to New York on a, on a road trip. So when I would drive, and I actually drove to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I listened to that the entire way, or I listened to that a lot of the way. So first thing I did is I built a mind palace with, with a PowerPoint. The second was audio, I listened to it. The third type thing, I went and experienced it. My advice to you is this. If you have something that you want to memorize, involve all your senses. Number one, uh, create a mind palace. It works. It hands down works. Uh, number two, uh, if you can listen to it, audio, or if, it's, or if there's videos, do that. You will become more knowledgeable about the subject matter than just memorizing data. You'll actually become knowledgeable about the subject matter. <laughs> Right next to each other. Well, here is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and, and you'll see it. 
right here. They're next to each other on this wall. 1987 right here. Here's Marvin Gaye and here's Muddy Waters. They're in the same year. So the next one in this is I walk around my mind palace. Still 1987. In my mind palace, it's this street right here. This this alley is the next one. Well, Ricky Nelson, Hello Mary Lou. I see bricks for Ricks, and a Nelson is a is a wrestling move. So I see I'm putting bricks in a full Nelson, a wrestling move. And then Hello Mary Lou. I kind of remember that because I remember Ricky Nelson's song. And I turn this into a picture, and I see it in the alley. 1987. It's the next one. So it should be right here somewhere. As I leave the alley, I go down the street, and right there I've got a pretty woman walking across the street, because the next song was Roy Orbison's Pretty Woman. Should be right here somewhere. Boom. Right there. Roy Orbison's Pretty Woman. So I used my mind palace in every single location. Right here, this brick wall, Smokey Robinson, Tears of a Clown. So on that brick wall, I imagine smoke rising up, and a clown was crying because of the smoke. So when I'm taking a walk around my mind palace, I see this brick wall, I see smoke rising up and the tears of a clown, so I know it's Smokey Robinson, the tears of a clown. On that wall over there, in 1987, it'll be Smokey Robinson, tears of a clown. and stored them on a different location. You can build a mind palace too, and you can use it to memorize anything you want. What is interesting to you? The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Baseball Hall of Fame, Football Hall of Fame, Golf Ball Hall of Fame, Periodic Table of Elements, your history, homework, a speech you want to give? Whatever is interesting to you, comment down below and leave a comment and tell me what you want to learn how to memorize. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Click down below, there is a link for a special gift I have for you. It's exactly what you need to take your memory to the next level. And finally, if you don't know what a memory palace is, I have a, a video down below. I'll see you on the next video.